Have you ever wondered what the royals are up to these days, especially amidst all the changes and challenges? The grand tapestry of royal engagements is intricate and ever-evolving. Queen Camilla, for instance, is stepping into the spotlight with daily solo events. Shrouded in mystery for security reasons, these engagements certainly pique our curiosity. And what about the Duchess of Edinburgh's singular event? It may be just one, but its significance is undeniable, reflecting her steadfast support of the crown. Princess Anne, the paragon of diligence, continues her whirlwind of duties across the realm, her commitment unwavering. Amidst this unexpected matriarchy, however, one can't help but notice the absence of some key figures. Prince Edward, for instance, has taken a pause from the public eye after extensive travels. This sparks curiosity, is it a mere respite or a sign of deeper currents within the royal dynamics? In these times of royal reshuffling, it seems the stately women of Windsor are taking the reins with aplomb. Queen Camilla, stepping into a more pronounced role, is set to grace the public with her presence daily, her engagements shrouded in a veil of mystery for security reasons. As we delve deeper into the heart of the royal family, the spotlight shines brightly on the women of Windsor. The embodiment of elegance and grace, Queen Camilla's new role is a testament to her strength and resilience. Her daily engagements, although cloaked in secrecy, are anticipated with bated breath. Each appearance is a symbol of her unwavering commitment to her role and the people she serves. With the grace of a swan, she navigates through the ever-changing landscape of royal duties, leaving an indelible imprint on the hearts of her subjects. Yet, Queen Camilla isn't the only Windsor woman stepping into the limelight. Princess Anne, a beacon of dedication and duty, continues to bear the weight of her responsibilities with unwavering resolve. Her schedule, a whirlwind of duties spanning the breadth of the realm, demonstrates her unyielding commitment to serving the crown. Ever the paragon of diligence, Princess Anne's relentless pursuit of her duties serves as an inspiration to all. Transitioning to the Duchess of Edinburgh, her role within the royal family is no less significant. Though her engagement is singular, it is a testament to her steadfast support of the crown. Her quiet dedication and unwavering loyalty provide a solid foundation, allowing the royal family to weather the storms of change and controversy. These women, each with their unique strengths and roles, paint a picture of a matriarchy stepping up to the plate. They are the pillars of strength, the driving force behind the royal family's ability to adapt and evolve amidst the relentless march of duty and tradition. The Duchess of Edinburgh's engagement, though singular, is no less significant, a testament to her steadfast support of the crown. As we continue to unravel the intricacies of the royal family, let's remember the incredible women of Windsor and their invaluable contributions. They are not just the backbone of the family, but also the heart, beating with unwavering dedication and unyielding resolve. Yet, as this unexpected matriarchy unfolds, one can't help but sense the shifting sands beneath the royal family's feet. The absence of key princes, such as the Duke of Sussex and the Duke of York, is keenly felt. Once central figures in the royal narrative, their withdrawal from public life casts a long shadow across the monarchy, hinting at controversies that lurk just beyond the public's gaze. Meanwhile, Prince Edward's conspicuous absence also raises eyebrows. Known for his extensive travels, his sudden retreat from the limelight is intriguing. It's easy to assume that this is a well-deserved rest following a period of relentless duty. Yet, one cannot help but wonder if there is more to this hiatus than meets the eye. Could it be a strategic move? A personal decision? Or perhaps, a reflection of deeper undercurrents within the royal family dynamics? Is Prince Edward's pause from the public eye merely a respite or a sign of deeper currents within the royal dynamics? Indeed, as the royal calendar adapts and evolves, it paints a portrait of a family in flux. As we've seen, Queen Camilla's solo events are an enigma, their purpose veiled in secrecy, yet they serve as a testament to her growing prominence. Then there's Princess Anne, the epitome of dedication, who remains steadfast in her whirlwind of duties. The Duchess of Edinburgh's solitary engagement, though singular, is a poignant demonstration of her unwavering support for the crown. However, the absence of key figures casts a long shadow over the royal family. The Duke of Sussex and Duke of York, 
once central figures, are now missing from the picture, reminding us of the controversies that still lurk behind palace walls. And Prince Edward's break from the public gaze raises questions about the deeper currents within the royal dynamics. Each member navigates their role amidst the relentless march of duty and tradition, shaping the grand tapestry of the royal family's engagements, ever so intricate and ever-changing. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, King Charles and the Wales's absence causes chaos at the palace. Did you know that channel members can get an exclusive video every week? That's on top of custom emojis, loyalty badges, and an extra quiz question every day. Sign up link is in this video's description.